The biggest game of 2023 here at United Park today was absolutely entertaining. Enter end goals. Mick, how would you sum it up? Uh, just, just delighted, delighted for the boys. Uh, well deserved. Uh, they've been a group of lads who we've had since they were since they were under eight, under nine. Uh, they've had some, they've had some good results over the years. Uh, this is this is right up there now with the best. Uh, I think I think it's it, it's been coming. Uh, they put the hard work in. They're all very committed. They're so close and tight together, and they respect and listen, uh, and they enjoy the game. You know, so you know I'm just so pleased for them, really. I'm pleased for the club, uh, and I'm and I've got to put on thanks the club, you know, the club, the club have supported us. You know, pitch today was fantastic. The support's been brilliant as well. So uh, you know I've got to put that on. I want to put that on record. My thanks to the club for the support we got today. <coughs> And going one nil down, the thing was he kept believing in it. I know the first half was very tough. I know we, we had chances, but two mile bars were always dangerous. But once that belief kept going, it was rewarded when we got the penalty and Simeon put away. Yeah, absolutely. They were a team that played a particular style. Look, it got Ireland into a quarter final of the World Cup. They play it big. They play it. They play it. They play the, the long ball uh, in over the top. You know, but uh, we, you know, we tried. We we got sucked into that a little bit. But we played football. We played football. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, they had a fantastic goalkeeper. We had a couple of chances. He made some absolutely fantastic saves. Uh, I thought he was superb. But I thought overall, I thought the best team won. But one thing I'm going to say now, I'm going to bring Peter into yeah, this. Absolutely. Um, the dying minutes of normal time, the injury time, going 2 1 up, captain's goal, describe it. Oh, yeah, when I, when I scored, I thought that was it, but then about two minutes later, they go down and score. I couldn't believe it then. And everyone just running over to the corner flag to the supporters, getting mobbed by them. That was uh, absolute epic stuff. Oh yeah, the supporters were great for us today. They really pushed us on to those dying minutes. Like, they scored there. And, they... and, and, and just to say, Kenny, the bravery for that goal as well. I mean, that guy does a shirt in there. It's claret. It's not white anymore. <laughs> it's claret. And, you know, that's, that, that, that's typical of Peter. The bravery he shows when he's on the pitch. And then two mile bars equalised after going 2 on up and with the last kick of the game and you think to yourself oh no this will put them on the, the ascendancy but thankfully the lads regrouped got it going in extra time and then Jacko chipped in with the third and then Shane to wrap it up at the end there's great fight there's great belief in this team uh, you know they don't know when they're beat they don't they, don't, they just keep going uh, so it's always there that commitment that effort that fight uh, and they can play football, and they can play football. There's good technical players in the side, so all round makes for you know makes for you know us in the us in the final four of the national cup, and deservedly so, deservedly so, and deservedly for the boys. And so, Peter, um, how do you find yourself? How how do you describe the game yourself overall? Uh, it was an awful entertaining game, I suppose. They every kick out they got, every ball they got, they lumped it over the top. We had to deal with that, I suppose. And we had a chance then. We didn't take many, but. We got the goals then the end. I know you've a lot of under 17 games games to catch up on now. I know you were very unlucky last weekend in the Connor Cup semi final against Salt Hill Devon. But there's under 17 games to catch on. You'll be getting a lot of game practice in now. But the semi final of this competition, you'll be looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think we're playing. Uh, oh, I forget who Lords, we're playing. Lords, Lords in Dublin. Yeah. Lord yeah, Celtic, they're yeah, based Lord in Crumlin. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking forward to that and we're, we're ready to trip out. Uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be looking again for support from the club, and no doubt we'll get that. Uh, and any sponsors as well will be looking for support, but yeah, that, we're very much looking forward to that. Well, at the moment, the club is on the crest of a rave. We've a young, two young adults teams um, doing well. The juniors, as you saw last night, had a great win. There's players coming through, and then this run is actually putting this particular group into the shop window as possible um, players to be brought in into adult football later on in the year absolutely 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 i mean that look there are a bunch of lads they're busy they're involved in a whole lot of other sports as well and and they gave them they, they're very committed to those sports as well but they're committed to soccer and they're committed to this club so we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes 
So we'll be looking forward to the semi-final against Lord Celtic in Dublin. And whatever happens, it's been a fantastic journey for these guys. They've given plenty of entertainment along the way. And they've given more than enough entertainment in front of your biggest crowd, I say, ever. And I say the challenge is to transfer into the semi-final and get everyone in the club right behind you. Absolutely. That's what we're hoping for. And I've no doubt that's what will happen. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kerry. Thanks. Well done, Pete. Well done, buddy. The biggest game of 2023 here at United Park today was absolutely entertaining. Enter end goals. Mick, how do you sum it up? Uh, just, just delighted. Delighted for the boys. Uh, well deserved. Uh, they've been a group of lads who we've had since they were since they were under eight, under nine. Uh, they've had some. They've had some good results over the years. Uh, this is this is right up there now with the best. Uh, I think I think it's it, it's been coming. Uh, they put the hard work in. They're all very committed. They're so close and tight together, and they respect and listen, uh, and they enjoy the game. You know, so you know I'm just so pleased for them. Really, I'm pleased for the club, uh, and I'm and I've got to put on thanks the club, you know, the club, the club have supported us. You know, pitch today was fantastic. The support's been brilliant as well. So uh, you know I've got to put that on. I want to put that on record. My thanks to the club for the support we got today. <coughs> And going one nil down, the thing was he kept believing in it. I know the first half was very tough. I know we, we had chances, but two-mile bar is always dangerous. But once that belief kept going...